Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Android tutorial series. This is part three of my shopping list app, which basically details how to use the ArrayList class for Java's its primary focus there. I'm going to open up uh, my web browser, my website, javacjava.com, select menu, and then Android tutorials. So we'll select shopping list part three. In this tutorial, I will implement some code to remove a record from our list by tapping on the item. I'll also clean up the interface as well. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is just clean up the interface. So I'm gonna move this browser off screen and I'm gonna open up my Android Studio and my emulator here. All right, so I wanna basically get rid of this first, right? I don't, I don't need this menu option with settings, sort list clear. It doesn't serve any purpose anymore. It served its purpose when I was describing that sort of stuff, but not anymore. So let's open the resources folder here and we'll go to the menu and then we'll open up the main menu or the menu main.xml. So here's the settings, here's the sort, and here's the clear. Let's just highlight all those and get rid of those resources. We're going to of course leave the add button in there. That we definitely want to keep there. Next thing I want to do is get rid of uh, this guy down here, this floating action button. So let's go into our layout and select activity main. Down the bottom, you can see here's the code for the floating action button widget there. So let's go ahead and delete that. And now we've got it out of the resources. So what we're gonna do is go up to the main activity up here. And starting up here, we're gonna get rid of all this stuff, which was all the hard-coded demonstrations of add all and add, get rid of that. And we don't need the floating action button stuff anymore either as well. Now in the menu options there, we've got rid of we got rid of settings, we got rid of sort, right? We still need add, and we got rid of clear. So let's go ahead and get that out of there as well. All right, so let's pop back over to the website here. Um, we're going to highlight the import statements. Hit Control C to copy, or right click and select copy. Most of these import statements just have to do with Android, and you don't have to concern yourself with them. So let's go ahead and control V to paste. And basically up here up top, we've got stuff that isn't used. These light gray ones here. Let's go ahead and just uh, highlight those and we'll just go ahead and delete them. All right, let's clean this up a little bit. Now all these gray ones right here we're about to use, so. Okay, so now we're pretty clear. This is right where the list view sets its adapter and populates basically the whole entire list here. So let's come back, I'll bring the website over here, and let's highlight this code. Let's hit Control C to copy, or right click and select copy, and I'm gonna show you what this does here. And right underneath where we set the adapter, we're gonna set an on click, on item click listener. So what that does is, if I come over here and I start clicking on these, you can see how they highlight and whatnot there. We're gonna set a listener, and that's basically the way everything works in Android. So um, when the click is fired, it will, it will basically call an event there, right? An on item click. So we set the adapter, set the listener, and then when on item click occurs, we get some basically some stuff passed through us, like the parent, the view. We're interested in the position, really, right? And then an ID. So the first thing I'm doing there is I am basically setting a, a temporary string selected item, and I'm setting that equal to. Um, now the text view view, don't worry about that much that what that is, but that's basically when I click on this, right? Everything from this line to this line is that text view right there. And then we're just getting its text and then converting that to a string, right? So when I click on, for example, bacon over here, selected item will be bacon. And we are also are gonna get a position as well, which is which will be uh, one, right? Because this always starts off as zero, one, two, three, and four, based on the index number. Okay, so basically what I'm doing is just I'm doing a quick if statement here. So if selected item, right? In this case, it'd be bacon, right? Dot trim, because I want to trim it up any spaces there, right? And then I'm invoking the equals method. I'm checking that to make sure that's equal to the shopping list, which is our array, and then I'm invoking the get method, and then I'm passing it the position that we're receiving up here from the on item click, and then trimming that. So basically, if, if the, um, in the array list, as long as everything matches, which it should, but I've seen some instances where sometimes it can get a little flaky there. So that's why I always like to do some double checks before I go ahead and do some stuff on that. So 
A Rayla should be in the exact same order as this, but just in case something got messed up along the way, you want to check to make sure that it is. Um, if it isn't, it'll go ahead and throw up a toast. Which, and a toast in Android is kind of like a little message box, a little temporary message box that goes away after a, a short amount of time. And it'll just say error removing element. But if it does equal it, then we want to go ahead and invoke this remove element method here. All right? So here's a source code for remove element. Uh, let's just go ahead and come over here, highlight it, hit Control C to copy, or right click and select copy. Let's move the browser off screen, and we'll just put it down here at the bottom of these other methods that I added in on the previous tutorials. So remove element, basically we're taking a string of the selected item. Let's come back up here. Right, I want to pass it the selected item, which in this case, like in our example, is bacon, and then in position number one. Right, and the only reason I'm passing it this is so I can, when I display an alert dialog confirming, in fact, you do want to remove it. Right, I can basically say remove plus selected item and then question mark display that for the title there, and then I'm just going to have a yes button and a no button. Of course, if no button is selected, it just cancels it and gets rid of the dialog. If yes is, is um, selected, then we'll go ahead and remove shopping li list and we'll invoke the remove method. And then of course position is the array position, which should be number one, element number, or index number one, element number two, right? Because this is index number zero, element number one on apples. It'll go ahead and remove that from the uh, our original array list. Then we'll resort it we'll store it back to the uh, shared preferences and then we'll refresh the adapter, the list view there, okay? So that's what that's will basically occur on this new code there. So all in all, fairly simple there. Let's go ahead and give this a run and then we'll have a nice, clean, very simple shopping list app. All right, this will take a... 20, 30 seconds there, see if we want to go over anything else while we're at it. And I don't believe so. I think we're pretty much good to go once this comes up here. Play around with it a little bit. Okay, so our floating option button bar thingamajig is gone there. Same with our little expand, expandable menu list there. So really all we've got is we've still got our plus functionality where we can go ahead and add an item and I'm just gonna go ahead and add some, let's see, toothpaste. Toothpaste, there we go. <clears throat> and I'm going to then, for example, click on bacon, right? Remove bacon, select no, nothing happens with our list. Remove bacon, select yes, that does that. Um, Dan, I have no idea why I put that on there, but let's go ahead and remove that. And so basically we can populate our shopping list and then as we add items to our cart and whatnot there, we can remove them from our shopping list. So all in all, that pretty much concludes the shopping list app tutorial along with demonstrating the array list and a lot of its various different methods in a uh, real world type application there. So. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get that off screen, get out that off screen, and that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.